have been feeling for quite some time now, maybe on a loop, a perpetual loop, where you feel that you keep getting the insights, the wisdom, the clarity. You think, oh, I got it. Now everything will be great. I know about manifestation. I know about law of attraction, law of assumption, this, that, and the other teaching, mindset, psychology. I know these things, and so now everything should be easier. I should be getting and receiving everything that I've desired, but it's still not happening, or it's happening, but then it goes away, or it's happening in some areas, but completely still and stagnant in other areas. I've been there. I'm going to tell you a story. I've had a realization this morning, actually, a bit of an epiphany along with it, and I'm going to share it with you today. Hello, everyone. I'm Kaylina, and I, on this channel, am teaching and showing and guiding you guys how to get back in touch with your true self, your authentic self, masks off, and aligned to manifesting or receiving or reaching our desires and goals, whatever language you're comfortable with, in a way that is actually with more ease and more enjoyment, peace, grace, more enjoyable experience basically. If you're needing extra support, all my services that have open spots are always linked below in each and every video. Today, this morning, I had planned to do an entirely different video and I'm still going to do, very excited for. However, I was meditating to a Dr. Joe Dispenza meditation, a new one that I have not done before, but I'm loving. I've been doing his meditation since 2018 on and off. Really love his work, love his meditations. I know it's not for everyone, but I understand the activating parts of it. I was doing his meditation and it did activate something inside of me that had not been relayed to me in this way before. So when I meditate, it's very potent and powerful information that I receive without going into so much detail or sounding too woo-woo, but I do get a lot of clarity, I get a lot of insights, a lot of messages, a lot comes through, all for the highest good of all. Of course. Again, if that doesn't resonate with you, that's okay. Everyone is welcome here. As long as we're coming with an open mind and kind heart, everyone here is welcome. So I do get a lot of insights while I meditate, mostly pertaining to myself, how to better myself, how to grow and evolve, how to continue on. I love meditation. As I was meditating though, I received this and I think it could help so many of you and I know it will help my clients so I hope you're all watching too let me know say hi I'm beaming can you see my energy is just beaming it's uplifted I'm telling you this was delicious so needed so resonant and so perfect for the times that we're in right now as I wrote in my community post correlating with this video I come from a certain kind of background and things devolved so it's a very interesting and uniquely perplexing kind of situation that I grew up with. So basically my mind is almost of two minds in the area of wealth, security, and finances. I have one side of my mind that is very like, yeah, we get to have whatever we want, we can live the life of our dreams, do what we love, it should be enjoyable, and that I have down pat. Like I'm always, no matter what I'm doing for work, for career, I enjoy it, it is aligned to my heart, it is on path to my, my soul purpose is how I like to really think of this and I feel it, okay? But then I have another side of my mind, what happened within my upbringing where things can be taken away. Any minute now, things can be stolen from you, things can be taken away, the rug can be pulled out from under you. And it's obviously a side of me being a mindset and self-love coach I don't agree with consciously. It is and has been a deeply subconscious belief that I have been kind of battling, I wouldn't say battling is the word, working with is the word. I've been working with it up until now and it's definitely disintegrated and gotten very, very small over time. However, today I received the final, okay, yes, this is it. So, you know how they say those who can't do teeth. <laughs> I've been able to get everyone around me into great wealth, financial well-being, just like abundance of all things. It's, it's wild. And yet this little thing has still been a little bit poking at me. If you watch my affirmations video, you know exactly what I'm talking about. That voice that gets louder, but it's quiet until you really agitate it, poke it. Then it gets loud and now you can see it. And that's what happened today. So I finally, finally faced my fear in this, these past months. Okay. 
I finally sat down and faced my fear these past months of this situation because along with me being with the two minds about this, we get to do and, and what we love and live where we love and have a beautiful, wonderful life, but also at any moment it can be devoured. And my life has, has unveiled that to me again and again because we get what we're mirroring out. We receive in our physical material world an exact reflection of what's going on internally. That's why your only real work to do is to work on the internal, the mindset, self-love, self-inquiry as I teach to my clients. Who am I being? What thoughts am I having? Being and embodying as I teach with my clients, especially in my 31 days package, which I have a few slots open if you want. It's down below. We're working magic over there. You can absolutely change your internal world and then you will receive everything that is in alignment with that because really all this work is is to be and embody the alignment of the self who has that while saturating yourself in the enjoyment of the present moment. Not living in the past not living in the future, which I need to make a separate video about why and the warnings of that, not living in the future only and not living in the past, but in the present now as the self who has what they desire. And if that's confusing you, I have plenty of other videos that will piece this together for you so you can watch those. Actually, I will link some here and they'll be below for you too. So knowing all of that, like I said, starting January of this year, I head on faced this thing, knowing, not intending for it, working with this, but knowing the possibility that the voice was going to get loud and things were going to get shaky, possibly the old 3D will be crumbling around me, you know the drill. And if you don't, we're going to do law of assumption basics, foundational understandings very soon, so don't worry. But still stay here if you've made it to this point because you have something, a message in this that you need to hear. So again, knowing that my reality around me may crumble, or it may get a little shaky, embracing myself for that, facing it bold and brave. And it did, um, and it did, and I've been working through that. I told you guys a few videos ago that I am in the midst. I've, I've manifested a lot, I've evolved and grown again and again and again and again. I've been at this since I was 12 years old. I have achieved quite a lot, but every level, there's a new thing that you want to take on. It's kind of like a video game. There's a new boss, okay? There's new stuff that comes up, and that's the point. That's why we're here. We're not here to just, like, sit here and be a potato, even though you might think you want that. That's more so to do probably because you need some rest. That's not how you want to live your whole life. So knowing that, I've been pushing through. I've been elevating my mind, elevating my awareness. I'm at the point where this feels so mm, secure to me. This feels like, of course, this feels very, I feel very self-assured. I'm in a very self-assured energy. Something I have had little glimpses of here and there throughout my life, sustained more in some areas rather than others, but I am in a very self-assured place. I've had amazing ideas come through, amazing progress has been made as well as in the physical. So things are morphing, shifting, things are underway. But I've been seeping really heavily lately into my more self-assured self. Like I've been really much more confident in the knowing that as long as I have me, everything's going to be okay. And so what came through this morning is this, and I know will help a lot of you, is I had the realization, I'm going to read it actually, because I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget. It's very short. So it was this, up until now, always say up until now, don't claim the unwanted stories. Up until now, I have been subconsciously reaching for, chasing the thing and things, not going into specifics, that would bring me the meaning of safety, the perceived, societal, conditioned, inundated self's meaning of safety and security, rather than being the safety and security itself, internally. Remember what I said at the beginning, we are getting a mirror outcome of our internal selves. We are separate souls having our experiences here, 
but how people feel around you, how they react to you, what opportunities come through and fall through and don't come through or don't even recognize or see you, people, places, things, is a mirror reflection of what's going on internally. As a lot of us know, it's not about the attainment of those things and then I feel safety and security and wealth and rich. We know that, right? But let this really seep in. I said, it's not about the meaning of receiving that. Do you hear that? The meaning. So there has been a part of me that has been saying, oh yes, I'm abundant, I'm wealthy, the wealth is me, the wealth fountains run through me, I am rich, I am wealthy, I am this. But there's a subconscious part, or was up until now, there was a subconscious part that still had excess potential meaning on to be wealthy, to be abundant, to be secure. Apply this to anything you're trying to manifest, love, whichever. To be secure and wealthy, it means the attainment of that. Do you see what I'm saying? To have, to be loved and have the love of your life means having the attainment of that. We have to cut that cord. No, it doesn't mean having the attainment of that. It doesn't mean the material things being in our reality or not. It means, it has no meaning, it's neutral. Money has no meaning, it's neutral. Everything is neutral because it starts with you. You're getting the reflection that's going on in here. And I say in here for a reason, but you could say, yes, in here, the mind, here, the body. You're getting the reflection of the emotions, the mindset, the beliefs, the perceptions, the reticulator activating system is siphoning out and weeding through what it knows to be familiar what it knows to be true for you. So the horse blinders are up and you're only going to receive and see a reflection of what you have decided is your reality, not the expanded without the horse blinders. Again, to reiterate and bring this home for both myself and all of you, if I want and apply this to your specific manifestation or we have to do a special video about the specifics, but let's just say, okay, fine, the specific manifestation, or the general manifestation, wealth and security, wealth and security in the material has no meaning. It has zero meaning. It's neutral. It has the meaning that you put on it. But it doesn't start there. It starts with self. Am I secure in myself? Am I feeling safe in myself? Am I feeling rich and wealthy in myself? Am I the safety? Am I the security? Am I the wealth? Am I the abundance? The answer is yes. Am I the love? Yes. And so, because I am that, I'm the source of that, I'm the safety, I'm the security, I'm going to get that reflection externally. Opportunities are going to open up. More ideas are going to come in. People, right place, right time. It's all going to come because I've opened up to the infinite possibilities that is this world that we are actually living in. Any minute now, your whole life can radically change. You can turn a corner and bump into the most important person you'll ever meet. You can turn the corner and have the most important idea you ever have in your life <sighs> up until now because we're going to constantly and continuously always want more and grow more and evolve more. I hope that makes sense. If you need any clarification, let me know below. Let this seep in, listen to it a few times, really saturate your mind with this understanding, listen to this every day if you feel called to, really start inundating in your mind, especially if you're having a lot of resistance, start inundating this message, these kinds of messages in your mind all the time so that you're surrounding yourself 
mostly with the five people who have the most influence over you. You are the five people that you surround yourself with most. Now we have the luxury of the internet, so you actually have more control over who those people are. So surround yourself with people who know this, who exude this, who have proof of this. It's here, I'm here, I'm planted, I'm rooted. I'm up leveling. There's more that my soul wants to expand me into. And so, yeah, I hope <laughs> this helps you guys. And let me know if you have any questions at all. Like I said, all my services are below if you're needing extra support. My camera just cut, so I'm going to take that as a cue to end this message. I believe in you. You're worthy of all of your dreams and more. And living your healthiest, happiest, wealthiest life. Have an incredible day or evening. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.